Um, so let's start with making sure that your movement links with your goals and values. Well, I think with physical activity, it is one of those things that we are told by so many people that we should do so many different types of exercise. And maybe we can put that in the chat box, like something valuable in the chat box. Um, we can say, you know, what are we told we should do when it comes to moving our bodies? What are we told we should do and why? Yeah, got to do an hour. And that might be got to do an hour because if you don't, you don't burn, you don't get into fat burning zone. Got to do 10,000 steps a day. Got to do 30 minutes. Got to walk at a fast pace to make it count. Yep. Yep, the heart rate's got to get up. Have to do it. Go to the gym six days a week. So there's so many shoulds, depending on whether you talk to your trainer, your doctor, you know, the person running your fitness program, whoever it is, it should be no pain, no gain. We talked about that last time. It's got to hurt. Um, but I think that, you know, these shoulds, they can overwhelm us, like make us feel like we have to do absolutely everything. They can confuse us into inaction. It's like with all these things, what do, what do I actually do? Um and they can also just lead to doing things relatively inefficiently, you know, trying to do everything that we should do rather than what will actually serve us and get us towards our goals and be something that we enjoy. So what we're going to try and do is we're going to try and tune out all the noise of what we should do. And as often we do, listen to ourselves as to what is actually going to match our goals, the, what we want to get out of movement and our values, why movement is important to us.